New Brighton Farmers Market, which is located next to the uh, football oval in New Brighton by the General Store. We're a not-for-profit organisation. We're set up really to give opportunities to small farmers to sell to local their local community at good prices, so to provide a, a good price for the farmer and also for the consumers to get a fair price too. So let's go and see what's fresh today. It's an interesting time of year because we're in between winter and spring crops, so we'll be seeing the end of winter crops and just uh, new spring crops coming in. Uh, the custard apples? Yeah, the season starts in May and this is actually, I thought they were finished last week, but this is the last week. Um, the Lime Cordials won two gold, uh, two silver and two bronze medals. And this is the new one, the Mandarin Cordial, and it's just won a silver medal down in Hobart at the Royal Fine Food Show, so that's just been out for two weeks. I've got onion, chives, turnips, Chinese cabbages, ruby chard, kale, um, parsley. Baby spinach, rocket, oh, I'll grow all this out the, out the pocket. Since about 97, I uh, was a commercial fisherman before that. Uh, I lost the boat in the bar, so I decided it was an <laughs> occupational change. I nearly drowned twice, so I thought it would be a good idea. We have 180 acres of farm, we have 14 hectares of nuts, we grow them and process them ourselves. We don't do the extra added value stuff, but everything else we do ourselves, the salted, the plain and roasted. Um, fantastic life. Um, and the markets are just fantastic. There's local macadamia oil in your cooking. It's a real privilege too. Yeah. And Ian makes um, biscuits from his macadamia. <laughs> okay, we're going to see the shackles next. Now the shackles have a, one of the original uh, farms settled in Burringbar and still farming. Yeah, well, we're in the, at the end of our winter stock um, and coming in, as I said, the stone fruit's happening, so we've got peaches and nectarines happening as we speak, so that's all but ready to pick. Yeah, we've got our free range eggs, we've got um, nearly 400 free range hens at home, so that keeps us busy too. I go and visit each of these farms to uh, check the authenticity of farmers and to ensure that all products that are sold at the market are actually grown by the farmer. And I find it really useful that I visit the farm because I often you know, people ask me questions, so when I'm asked questions I can answer them and yes, they are free range eggs, I've seen Lee's chooks running around the farm, you know, that sort of thing. Summerland Olives is a combination of 13 families, none of us have big groves here in the north and northern rivers, we've all got... Um, probably up to 1,500 trees each. So 10 years ago we decided to all work together rather than competing against one another. We're the only processors on the North Coast. We don't use any chemicals. It's a chemical free process. It's a traditional Italian process. Spanish, Greek, whichever you like to call it. Um, we've been doing the markets I suppose for the last uh, five years um, and we just sell locally. Yeah, we're based at um, Ewan Gala, which is uh, right near Mount Warning, sort of on the way to Taugum from Warmba. So when did you start farming, Will, Your, the, the family? In the late 1800s, yeah, so that was original, we originally came in and cleared part of the land and yeah, just slowly progressed from there, but, but we've diversified into small crops more and more. Oh, just because of the farmers markets mainly, we couldn't compete with the small yeah, you know, small crops on a small scale in the old days with the big fellas, but now we can. We can bring it here and yeah, so it's worthwhile. And we've got pepinos. Pepinos, yes. They're they'll, they'll be on probably till autumn. We should have red dragon fruit by um, uh, for Christmas. Yeah. It's, yeah. They're flowering now. Chocolate pudding are coming in. The chocolate sapote, the, um, the, black, sapote, yeah. the black sapotes, they're, yeah. they're just starting. Yes. We are based at Tiagra. A lot of our produce is grown under fruit fly exclusion netting, so we don't use chemicals. And because um, one woman came in and said, but, 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 you know, I can't grow them, they're loaded with fruit fly. Yeah. I said, yeah, well, that doesn't happen with us. <laughs> the garlic has just come into season. Yes, that's right. And this is what people don't realise because they buy all that Chinese garlic, which is available all year round at the supermarket. So the garlic is actually seasonal. Absolutely, yeah. And, yeah. and really, what, what's your season, John? 
the season we start to harvest this variety in September and if we get a good crop which we have this year we should be selling right up till autumn I'm hoping. Just wanted to give an example of, of the freshly picked produce you can get from the market and just consumers this is just when you see at the supermarkets these are all browned off this is firm you can tell this is was picked yesterday glossy fresh right that's the big difference. Thanks,